Welcome to the SARS Readiness Program for Tax Practitioners. This is Module 7 of 8, the Employer Monthly Submission. This is Part 1. At the end of this module, you are expected to understand how to use e-filing to firstly submit the EMP-201 and also submitting the Employment Tax Incentive Claim, which is ETI. In the following video, it will demonstrate exactly how this is done. Please be advised that these videos are subject to change. So it might be that when you are logging onto e-filing, the screens might look a bit different. However, the principle still remains exactly the same. Welcome to this tutorial on how to complete and submit the monthly employer declaration EMP201 on SARS e-filing. To log in, use your existing username and password. You will land on the dashboard. If the applicable organization portfolio is not set as default, you will need to open it. Click on My Profile on the left and then click on Portfolio Management. Click Go to Portfolio once you have selected the applicable portfolio. You can use the search function to look for a specific taxpayer using one of the following. Company name, registration number, tax reference number. Once you have found that taxpayer, click View Taxpayer. Your return can be accessed by clicking on Returns, then Returns Issued, and then Employees Tax EMP201. On the next screen, you must select the period and click Request Return for the correct return to be displayed. Once the search result displays, click on Open. The return will be issued on the EMP201 work page, and to open the return, click EMP201. Make sure that you complete all the mandatory information in the red fields on this declaration. Declare the amount for PAYE, SDL and UIF liability where applicable in the Payroll Tax Calculation section. SARS will have pre-populated the payment reference number and the payment period fields already. Complete the ETI calculation section. If compliant and still within the submission time, ETI calculated and ETI utilized can be completed. If you are able to complete ETI calculated but get an error message for ETI utilized and you have resolved the non-compliance issue, you will need to refresh the return. Click the OK button and then save the return. Click Refresh Historic Data to refresh the EMP201 with the latest information on SARS records and update the compliance status. Carefully read the pop-up message and click OK. Your historical information will be refreshed. You can now complete the ETI utilized. Open the return and complete the process from where you left off. If an employer is non-compliant, the ETI utilized amount may only be used in the month in which the employer becomes compliant again and must not be backdated. This is limited to the six-month ETI period between March to August and September to February. Therefore, if the claim is not made within the six-month period, the ETI may not be claimed. The ETI carried forward is auto-completed and will be next month's brought forward. For further information on the Employment Tax Incentive ETI, refer to the Guide for Employers in Respect of Employment Tax Incentive available on the SARS website. The Penalty and Interest field shows the portion of the payment that must be allocated to a penalty and or interest. The total payable section auto-calculates and includes the SDL, UIF and ETI if claimed liability. Complete the Voluntary Disclosure Program and the Tax Practitioner Details section if applicable to you. For further assistance with the application on the Voluntary Disclosure Program, refer to the Voluntary Disclosure Program Guide available on the SARS website. You can click Save if you are done completing the return but don't want to file it yet. Saving the return allows you to go back and make changes and submit it when you are ready. If you want to submit your return and anticipate no edits, click File Return. A pop-up message will appear if you did not complete all the mandatory fields. Once you have submitted your EMP201, click Continue on this screen. The status of your tax return will now be displayed as filed through e-filing on your EMP201 work page. Please remember to make payment within seven days after the end of each month. Congratulations! 
you have successfully completed and submitted your EMP201 declaration on SARS e-filing.